Hey folks, welcome back to another LEGO video. Today I'm going to be showing this alternate build for, give me one second, 75316, the Mandalorian Starfighter from 2021. Sorry, it's been a little while. Um, so this is an alternate build. This is on Rebrickable, or you can find this design on Rebrickable.com, LEGO website. Very, very reliable, very great uh, site and uh, I was looking for something else to build out of these pieces I mean just for one time's sake I just wanted to show it in a video and uh, this is a Guavian Death Gang Starfighter now to be honest I have I have no like real information to give you on this ship I think this is a m m midi scale micro scale so this is not meant for minifigures so let me get a minifigure Mr. Generic you can see he's pretty small compared to this thing but he can't really there's no way he can go in here this is meant for display there i mean you, you, i'll show there are a couple of things it does but overall this is meant to be like a type of thing that you just look at it's like a great little desk model like one of those models that you build like uh i don't know like car models or plastic kits or whatever it's supposed to be like that so just like a ship model that you look at and it looks great um, I do like the design. Uh, I'll give you 360 of it here. It is sitting on something. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. But hopefully this lighting doesn't bother you. I'm filming this at night, so that's why it looks a little bit darker than usual. But, uh, yeah, that explains that. Um, it's cool. I, I think I've only seen this ship in the... It may be in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I definitely could be wrong. I don't think it's in that game, but it could be, you know. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But anyway, that's what this is based on. Obviously, the wrong colors because this is based on Bo-Katan's version from the Clone Wars. So it's a little bit different. Keep in mind, I adore the actual set of this. Like the Mandalorian Starfighter set that the pieces of this are from. But I just wanted to do something different just once in a while. I do have a review of that set as well if, you're, if you care. I do have some other extra pieces. This is a lot of extra pieces that are left over, including the cockpit. So you know this is not minifig scale, um, which is fine. You know, not everything has to be. But uh, let's get to the couple of the features. Um, there is a turret on the top here, and this does actually rotate. So you can rotate it freely. And I'll give you a secret on how that works. It's really just a... A little a jumper, a circular jumper with a circular tile, and it connects like that. It's extremely loose, but it is a it's it's not going to come off, so that's good. It's a very nice turret. You can fire that with the stud shooter. It's pretty. Everyone knows what how they work by now. But uh, yeah, and the second feature is pretty simple. It's got this stand, which is honestly kind of cool. You can just take that off. Let me set that apart or set that aside for just a minute. Uh, I wanted to show you the stand really quickly. Here it is. You've got the control panel down there. It's a it's a bit of a weird contraption, to be honest. But it does do the job. It holds the ship up and doesn't look terrible. Um, so, you know, it does its job well. Uh, you know, it's not really that much to talk about. It's just a bunch of slanted pieces around a pillar. <laughs> it's not, you know, the greatest thing ever, but it, it does the job. It looks nice for what it is. And let's get back to the actual ship. This thing is pretty cool. And it does swoosh really well. It is long, though. So it's a bit awkward to swoosh this because it is extremely long. So, you know, it's very flat. If you look at it like this, you can see just how flat the design is. But actually, it kind of works. I think it looks cool. You got some cannons up here. Tons of flat plates. Uh, you got some landing gear down here. Um, the build for this is really interesting. It's honestly kind of cool. Um, I believe this section here, this is meant to be the cockpit. I could be wrong if I'm wrong, you know, it's, I'm wrong. But anyway, uh, yeah, here it is. You got the engines. These are actually two different sections. So you got this section. These can move a little bit, but you've got like the engine parts here. It's cool. You got some engines over here. It's, it's cool. I definitely won't be keeping this around, but it is really cool. I do like the look of it. 
and um, it reminds me of the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. I'm not really a Star Trek fan, but I like some of the things in that series, and this reminds me of the Enterprise really a lot, but I think it's cool. The, there's a lot of plates. It's essentially just plate, plate, plate. It's very plate heavy, um, It's but it looks great, you know? doesn't look too bad, and you can fly it around, and it's got a nice look to it, but... I mean, there's not really much else to talk about. It's cool, you know? It looks nice. It's definitely something different. We don't really see this that much. Some, you know, gang type of ships. Um, it uses a ton of the pieces. Not all of them. It's mostly just using... I think it almost uses every plate that comes in the set, which is kind of interesting, I think. And it looks very nice, you know? It's a cool... It's a fun build, too. It's, it's really interesting, but that's it. I mean, that's really all I got for you. Um, let me know what you think of this set. Do you like this Mandalorian Starfighter more than the 2011 version? Or do you like the 2021 version better? Let me know. And if you build this, also give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And um, go to Rebrickable. They've got such a good catalog of alternate builds for most sets. Um, and just see what you can build. And, you know, it's if you like this, go ahead and build it. Put it together. See what you think. Um, and, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I do have a review of this set, again, um, if, you're, if you care. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And... Um, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.